Take me out to California Take me out to California Hi everyone and welcome to my channel if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, then make sure you click the subscribe button and give me a like, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and drop me a comment as well. So today I'm sharing with you what is in my handbag. So this is my mum bag. It's a bag from Primark. It's a bit bad, it's a bit scruffy. It's like a, yeah army green bag um, I'm going to show you what's in it because I am a person that chucks everything it's like Mary Poppins bag is in my bag and when you're a mom you tend to just acquire a lot of stuff and sometimes I pull things at my bag and I'm somewhere that's where I've got to be quite serious which is rare and I'm like why is that in my, who has put that in my bag? Because as a parent, the, your children will just put things in there or you'll be taking things off them and it'll end up going in your bag. And I have to probably once a month, I do a proper clear out of the bag um, because it's, it, I don't even, I haven't even checked what is in here before doing this video. So I might be slightly embarrassed of the stuff that's gonna come out here. Okay, so first thing is this book. It says, change your thoughts and you change your world. Love this. Um, I don't know who gave me this. Did I buy this myself? I think it was a gift. Um, it's, I need notebooks. I have notebooks everywhere that I go because if I get an idea or if I'm sat and um, I've got a bit of time and I just want to write some stuff down, write some notes or some lists. Although I do think that in here, maybe children's scribblings as well. Yeah, so some of the stuff, um, notes from workshops that I've done. Um, just Because when I'm out and about, sometimes I will just get an idea and I'll either put a note in my phone, but... Or I'll write it down in my notebook because I prefer something, there's something more creative about writing, physically doing something. So I always carry a notebook and a pen around with me. Um, there's about a million receipts. Um, as a self-employed person, you're supposed to keep receipts, but I don't think I can claim back on mixed peppers and toilet rolls from Aldi. So I'm going to put that in the bin. Should just do, this is just my clear out now, isn't it? Okay, there's a flyer from an art gallery that me and the girls went to. Great. Um, an old envelope from uh, Brooks Winnings from the Grand National. Brooke picked the winner. So the, um, the that's gone in the bin. See, look, this is great. We're clear, we're working together here. I'm doing a video. It's like synergy. Uh, Psychologies magazine. I usually have something to read in my bag again because I'm not a person that likes dead space. So I don't like dead time. So I like to fill time that I have with learning or creating some kind of idea. I'm not a very... I'm not, I find it hard to settle so I always have something and psychologies as you probably know if you watch my videos or follow me on social media is my favorite magazine and I want to be in it so I'm going to hint it in every video um a back combing brush which I'm just going to pull the hair out of which is disgusting isn't it what a minging job um a back combing brush because you can never have hair that is too big it's always important to have big hair hairspray <laughs> equally um, I did an event all the other day, so that's why that's in my bag. I wouldn't necessarily normally carry hairspray. It's a bit extreme. Again, back home and things. Pens, lots of pens. Um, it appears I have sun cream, sunscreen in here, which is a good thing, but optimistic considering today is absolutely chucking it down. Deodorant. You should always just have deodorant, I think, with you. Chewing gum. Again, same reasons. Just keep yourself... Actually, I've got two. I've doubled up with the deodorant. Stink, clearly. Or not, as the case may be, because I have two children, so it smells fresh. Um, more hair brushes. This. Yeah. Not even sure what that is. But I like the fact that it's clearly not mine. It's one of the girls' um, bugs. But I like because it's been in the bottom of my bag, it's got hair and fluff stuck to it. I'm going to bin that while they're at school because it's best, isn't it? Let's be serious. It's best. Um, what else do we have in here? Um, a little toothbrush. Again, you just never know when you're going to need that. Paracetamols because... Just because. Because you never know when you're going to get a headache because you're a parent and you're children. My wallet is in here. This wallet's a bit battered now, but this wallet... <laughs> was um a lot of people around me have this same wallet it is i guess it's a man's wallet really but i don't know unisex but 
Because my husband had autism, he would fixate on things and would obsessively research. Really helpful. And he wanted a new wallet, so he bought, it was like 30 wallets. He bought to try out, to try them, test them out, feed them, put his cards in at home. And then he sent them back and picked the one he wanted. And this was the, the winning one. It is a really good wallet. It's a bit overfilled. He would go mad at me. Just push that up there. I don't even know what the brand is, actually. I should probably say... Eccentry. It's about 60 quid, but it's a nice wallet. It's done me for about four years, so good wallet. Um, uh, some gold bracelets. You just never know when you're going to need them, really. I don't know why they're in my... I've got a feeling Brooke was wearing them, to be honest. I don't think they were my um, thing. A pair of children's socks. No idea. A name tag. Oh, that was from when I went to the brain tumor charity thing. I like, is it weird? I kind of keep stuff like that. When I've been to an event, I just think, oh, I'll think I'll look back on that in the, in some time in my life. Um, there's, I'm not getting all these like little bits of receipts out because it's boring, isn't it really? Quite frankly, a lipstick, um, pink NYX. A lot of people ask me what lipsticks I wear and I do wear a lot of the NYX, um, intense butter gloss i wear a lot of them this one i'm wearing is mac an orange one i don't know what it is some sunglasses which are actually brooks but i think i might steal them they're about a pound from new look or somewhere yep stuff like that is in here more pens um tampons and more pens and carmex Again, you need to just, you know, keep yourself feeling good and fresh and lovely. Um, what's in the front pocket? Let's check in there. Oh, my passport's in there. I should probably take that out. I needed it the other day. Should we, do you want to see my cringe photo? Everyone has a bad passport photo. So let me just show you my passport then. Without giving all my details away. Um, I don't know what you can do with them, but I probably shouldn't, should I, really? There we go, you can see my passport photo. There she is. There she is, the girl. Let's put my passport away though, because I'm probably gonna need that at some point. So we've got my passport in there. I have a crystal. Why not? I don't know what that one is. Someone will tell me. I think somebody gave it to me. Um, some coins, loads and loads of these hairpins. You always need them. Um, some stuff that had to go on my eyebrows because I've had my eyebrows um, microbladed so some stuff that went on them uh, a choker a tiny oh that's nice I'll wear that see that in the next video um, so yeah so that is pretty much it other than like little bits of receipts and things like that that's what's in my bag as a mum you have just you just acquire loads of stuff and I am not a person who can travel lightly I just can't do it I don't know who these lovely neat delightful people are but i need to know that if i reach into my bag there could be anything in there i i, I might i mean it was great the other day when i was at the um that event when i was speaking at the women in business awards um in coventry and somebody said oh holly do you have any hairspray and i was able to be like yes i do that that's great for me i love that i love that kind of stuff or if you're out and you're somewhere and the kids have got their board and there's nothing to do I can usually find something in my bag that's gonna make them go, yeah, I want that, I wanna play with that, whatever. So that is what it is. I'm sure there's some lovely, neat, perfect um, pe mums out there that have these lovely bags that don't have hair and socks in them, but that's not me. It's just not who I am. So I'm glad that I shared that with you. I think that we have all valued as people because of this video and I've cleared my bag out some of those things won't be going back in. And so we've both, we've all benefited from this. You can rest easy knowing exactly what is in my handbag. Do you feel good about it? If you do, you should probably subscribe. If not, if this is, you've just went, what on earth have I just watched? Then fair play to you for sticking to this point. And now I think you should go and watch something educational, something that's gonna make you a better person. Um, and I think that's what I should do as well. Speak your soon. Take me out to California. Take me out.